Hello there. Uh, I'll be covering the cons. Okay. From idea to LM, uh, building a roadmap for open source AI, and this is just generally more of uh, my observations and, and a conversation on how we should be removing barriers, especially when in gener generating uh, open source, making open source AI, and possibly even new architectures altogether. So uh, for context, uh, who am I? I'm the chairman of the RWKV group under the Linux Foundation. So we are one of the first few open source models under the Linux Foundation. I'm founder of Ricoso AI, which is a commercial arm for the RWKV uh, project. I'm involved in all open source software for over a decade, and I'm I'm a I'm a parrot with 30 year plus from so from Singapore. So um, a lot of you may not have heard of us, uh, but basically, what is the RWKV Eagle project in a nutshell? It's a QKV attention free model that scales linearly by context length with greedy multi length tokenizer. It's Apache two license under the Linux Foundation. Our Discord is over 8,000 users strong, um, and we apparently have like another 8,000 plus in China um, that is not on our Discord because of the Great Firewall. Um, and our open source core goal is to build the best AI model to be open source and make accessible to everyone in every language worldwide. Um, so it's not just the, the language goal, it's actually the compute goal, because as a linear transformer, we are uh, on inference, we are actually orders of magnitude lower than, than uh, transformers, and a lot of our users like to run it on Raspberry Pis and phones. Um, this was created by Blink DL and supported by Eluta AI and Stability E. Uh, and we are currently at the 7B param size SOTA in multilingual performance. Though one of my gripes about that SOTA performance, as I mentioned, I asked earlier, we only can test on 23 languages and each language has only like one eval or two eval at best. I don't think that's a good way to eat <laughs> the eval multilang and I wish that was better. Uh, we have strong English performance, uh, beats Lama 2, 7B on average. We are very commonly confused with Mamba and State Space. Here's a hint, Eagles eats Mambas. <laughs> the, you can find out more uh, about the model at, at the link on it. But, so I can go through benchmark and all that, uh, and, but I think that is another conversation for another time. Please go to the link instead because that is not what I'm here for. What I'm here is to, to, to say that all of this was achieved by a bunch of random folks on the internet. With an H index so close to zero, Eluta AI had to step in to co-author the paper for us. Which, thanks by the way, because we would probably never author the paper if you never forced us to. So, so yeah, and, and, we, and the various members of the community came in from non-academic background for various reasons. Uh, some of us wanted to experiment with AI but this was the only architecture that could run on their laptop. Some of us wanted the model to speak the language that their parents or grandparents wanted to talk and, and they couldn't find anything else. And for some of us, we just wanted to make it like infinite context link or something like that. So uh, why, why, why I emphasize the, the lack of academia in our group is that uh, in a way AI has broken free from academia because uh, now you can be given enough GPU you can just DIY the whole thing for better or for worse. And, and, and just like open source software, there's so much activity happening outside than inside. And I think there's also a few of us here that are brought in specifically because we are outside from the academia world. So back to my topic from idea to LM, what does that mean? So like uh, one, one way I can approach this topic is like, how does it work within our open source group, which actually confuses a lot of people. Uh, but it makes sense when you think of it in traditional open source sense. So our pipeline typically is around these lines and we have already been iterating for five versions so far. Uh, we only published the paper on version four, so, so, so that, that gives you a rough idea of how we progress. Uh, typically what happens for like changes within our architecture, for example, or even data set, which follows a similar pattern, is that one, an idea is suggested to our Discord on RWK XF. Discord is like the worst collaboration platform on earth and I'm coordinating this. I wish everyone moved to like GitHub or issue tracking, but for some reason, the community just refused to move. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but that's where it happens. Ideas are suggested there. And then subsequently, a contributor slash maintainer provide a code change to test this idea. The biggest drop off in our, in our open source development is actually step one to step two, because a lot of people have ideas but very few people actually have the time or energy to make that 10 lines of code change in the trainer to test the idea. 
Subsequently, when 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 an, when when there's a code change and the idea gained enough momentum, a volunteer or maintainer perform a zero point one B followed by a one point five B to three B run, and typically we use the NWiki ten K or NWiki one million to to actually do 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 the training run. We start at zero point one B because cheap com, uh, cheap GPU compute, and then we just scale up from there. Uh, and in this case, the loss curve and subsequently evals is the actual judge for an architecture change. Um, and 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 this and sometimes we wow ideas get tested that we don't even know why it works. Um, from then onwards, candidates are tested and rigorously. Uh, and at three B to seven B, typically with slim pajama chunk one, and that gets merged together. And typically, this is tested on my eight X forty ninety or very limited limited time slice on the A one drive H one rules. When all this finally seems good and the progress is there, we have a final solution which then typically becomes a main candidate for our version change. So this ends up being a merger of various tweaks that happened from the previous version and is trained on 1.1 trillion tokens. And that's how we derive into our version 4 and our version 5 architecture that we released. The problems about this process that confuse everyone in the AI world. Uh, so problem number one is that, uh, well, our process follows a very collaborative de decentralized nature. Uh, there is still concentration of power and decision making on who has control over the main cluster. So that would be the original creator and me, who apparently have access to our own respective clusters. Uh, the other thing that confuses everyone is because we release things in what seems like the reverse order in the AI world. We first have the code change, then we make the model weights from small to large, then we start writing the paper. The norm in AI seems to be you release the paper first, then you release everything else in, in that order. So. So it, it constantly confuses people. It's like, hey, why do you have the model and no paper yet? Like, like for example, we don't have the V5 and V6 paper out yet, but we already have the weights in public. But that's because this is done completely collaborative in, in the public. If you ask me of the current training process, I can point you to a checkpoint tucked away somewhere in Hugging Face um, where you can download and play with it if you want. Yeah, so uh, the, the what? And this whole process, uh, as much as we would like it to be more, more, more fully automated, one of the in-jokes is that I'm a human GPU scheduler because, uh, because effect, essentially, right, what, what my main role for a period of time was to pro was when people submit the code, I'll run it on our GPUs. And, I'm, and, and that would, goes from small donation GPUs of like two GPU for small experiments to all the way to very limited time slice on A100, H100. So what does this mean in a current roadmap? And so, um, so when I translate this experience into how, how it's like for a new architecture to be proposed and to reach uh, prominence uh, or reach a certain level of acceptance, right? Uh, I, I start thinking in terms of like, how if let's say someone was to come up with something completely new, how do they get the process started? So take for example, if let's say you have a new idea for a new architecture that's never seen on earth, your process, so at the current roadmap is that at the 0 0.1 B, at the very small scale, that is the good, uh, that, that's where you can get, get a good start with, let's say, Google Collab or budget GPU. And you can use a 300 B uh, token data set like the PAL, thanks to the AI, that's completely available on Hugging Face. And basically, a lot of people use Google Collab for this kind of experiments. Ha like half of our community ideas are pretty much run on Google Collab. Thanks, Google, somehow. <laughs> then, but the next step here is where it starts to drop off. So multi GPU. That, so the next step at the one point five B, you can't. It, there is not enough. Uh, you can't have enough time to run it on Google Collab. And typically, you want to test it on at least two times on the NIE. That way, you also at least ensure your multi GPU code works. And this is where the strict cutoff start to happen because we are talking about someone with a spare change of two thousand dollars and above willing to throw it around the community. And and then subsequently at the 3B, that's where you want to go doing the AX3090 and above. And, and that's the other cliff. And these are cliffs that we don't really have answers to. Uh, until, until, so for, for, for some projects, they may be lucky. They, they may have like major contributors who have too much free money and buy the 3090s and 4090s. Uh, on the other hand, right, uh, for multiple open source groups, right, they are actually extremely dependent on the AI and stability, which I applause, applause to them for helping out the community in this ways. But I feel like having one or two entity that is literally the backbone of the entire open source development here is a very fragile system. And it's something that we need to actually explore 
diversifying on. Uh, and subsequently, when, when you scale it up higher, uh, that's where, that's where it, uh, especially if you are not an, from the academia world, uh, it's going to be very hard to break past into the 7 billion parameter scale. Uh, so that's where you need, uh, where the A100 starts coming to play or the H100s. Um, I keep talking about all of this, but the thing is like, I, one thing I also like to point out, right, that the, the evals that we achieve, right, for the majority of the time, right, we, we got it on GPU donation time on effectively eight nodes of A100 or H100 at a time. And in many cases, actually many groups have much more, uh, the average HPC cluster is much larger than that. So, so, so we, are, we are one of the groups that are able to like achieve way more with less resources, but uh, it's also a thing about like, we need to be, actually be exploring about how to actually give other groups similar access to resources so that they can explore these other ar architecture. Other issues when you start scaling past the 7 billion parameter and above is that one of the big issues is that proprietary data sets starts to become an issue. Um, this is even a struggle within our current community. Like, because we constantly get compared to models that, that doesn't uh, even comment on their data set. And, and the question gets asked, can we include the so-and-so uh, uh, news articles uh, data set inside here? And it's like, no, we, we can't. But I'm quite sure the others did it. And they said, and they never commented on what they released in their data set. So we can get away by doing that if we do that. So this is the kind of internal struggles that actually the open source group will face where if they want to open their data set because they are being compared to models that are proprietary in data set, which gets to effectively dodge legal hurdles when, when they include such data set. Yeah. Also, uh, I consider us lucky because we actually get to consult lawyers for legal advice. Most open source groups have no access. Yeah. Yeah. So please spend more resources on multi data set and evals. Um, it's also more scalable than GPUs. And I would say we are currently an anomaly. We, by some weird coincidence, managed to be fortunate enough to get the support from Intuit AI Stability and Linux Foundation. Most open source group, especially new ones that are starting out with new architecture, is lucky enough to get support <coughs> from one of them. And we need to figure out how to provide more support for them. Yeah. This, we, we as a process should be made repeatable because we want to ensure more architecture is explored, be it architecture data set. Someone please do a text diffusion model. I want to figure out how to unlock multi-epoch training for, for text models. Because we need all of that if you want to ensure that Sasha gets to keep his shares. Because uh, it's attention all you need. We are one proof to know, but I think there needs to be more. <laughs>